When most people think of map paintings, they think of fantastical landscapes that don't exist in reality. This is a good chunk of our job, but there's no denying that. But the purpose of a map painting is much, much more. Painting the environment of a story is an opportunity to bring the audience closer to a story, to emphasize the emotions that the director is trying to convey. This painting is a great example of that from Hitchcock's Vertigo, an establishing shot that makes you literally feel vertigo. A painting can set the tone for a scene or an entire film. This painting from 2001 introduces the strange and bizarre style and mood that's gonna be carried to the end. A painting in itself can be the climax of a film. This shot from Planet of the Apes, you don't need any dialogue, the image just says it all. And of course, creating a world so rich and vibrant that you wanna go and explore it. This is a painting from Hook. You can see all the different parts of this island. It's almost like a map. Your eyes just dart around this painting looking for secrets and trying to soak in all the different areas. We haven't lost this, by the way. I'm not showing older paintings to say, ah, the good old days. Here's a painting from Maleficent. It has that same feeling of being an invitation to explore a world. It creates the emotion of natural beauty and awe and establishes a world for a fairy tale to take place. Here's a painting from Book of Eli. This painting doesn't just show you the apocalyptic world that Eli is in. It makes you feel his isolation and the death of everything around him. Also, if you haven't seen it, go watch Book of Eli. It's one of my favorite matte painting films of all time. The environments are just gorgeous and so powerful. Don't worry, I'm not gonna get through a show and tell of matte paintings without a Star Wars image or two. Why does the world love Star Wars so much? It's because we love the characters, Luke and Leia and Chewie and Han, but we also just love being in that world. When matte painting is used well, that world is brought to life. The decisions you make in palette, architecture, lighting, they evolve beyond just being a painting. This is a painting for episode three, 20 years later, and it brings you right back into the world. All of your memories and all of your feelings you have when you watch that first Star Wars, they hit you like a bag of bricks when you see this painting on a big screen. So what is our role? Our role in film is to tell a story of a world. A lot of the time that reflects the story of the characters. Our role is an invitation to the audience to join us for the journey and a tool for the director to convey emotions.